This video is about inserting a parabolic velocity profile using an EDF. First of all, we will see the results of a constant velocity profile at the inlet and later on we will insert a UDF defining a parabolic velocity profile and its results. I have a case and data file of the constant velocity profile and have also included a C program which contains a UDF in the same folder. Now first we will open Fluent and read our case data file for constant velocity profile. So I am going for the 2D version of the Fluent with double precision checked in the Fluent launcher. The software used is the 13th version of ANSYS Fluent. After starting Fluent, I am reading the case and data file for constant velocity profile inlet. This is the inlet from the top and two bottom outlets. The case setup is as follows. First you need to scale the mesh to the correct dimension. Later go for check mesh. Then in models, as it is a basic flow simulation, only viscous model is set to laminar. Later in materials, it's water. And in boundary condition, the inlet is set to velocity inlet with a constant y velocity of minus 0.01 meter per second. The outlet type is pressure outlet with all default values. The solution was initialized from inlet. And after simulation, the result is as follows. So we have a constant velocity profile at inlet that is visible by this vector plot. Now let's watch the contours. So we see a gradient pin developed at the inlet and the flow is consuming some distance to develop the parabolic velocity profile. So this was the result of the constant velocity profile at the inlet. Now let's go for our UDF example. First of all we need to write a UDF in C programming language. So a UDF is for specifying steady state velocity profile boundary condition. As all UDF begins with, we have hash include udf.h, then the macro name that is defined profile with the name of the UDF, inlet by velocity, and the two variables that we are passing into our UDF from ANSYS Fluent. We are creating some arrays and variables to develop our logical expression. Then we have to mention the width of our inlet and later on a loop will begin which has some logical statements to put proper values of parabolic velocity profile at each and every cell of the inlet. Please note that this is an example of how UDF can be used in ANSYS Fluent. So if anyone needs to go in detail about the logical expressions written in this UDF can contact us via email. The highlighted text are the logical statements used to put parabolic velocity profile at the inlet. And this is followed by the ending of the loop. Hence we have a complete UDF written in C program. 
Now we can either interpret or compile this UDF into our Ansys Fluent software. To do this, go to define, then user defined and functions, then interpreted. The interpreted UDF dialog box appears on screen asking for the source file name. Browse to the C program that we have created just now. Open it. And keep default settings for rest of the options. And click on interpret. So interpretation of UDF has been done. Now we need to hook this UDF to our velocity inlet that is in boundary conditions. Open settings for inlet. As we need to put this in Y velocity, we can pull the drop down list and instead of constant now we can assign UDF inlet Y velocity. Close the window and go for solution initialization. Now let us initialize from inlet. And run the simulation for around 100 iterations. As we can see, the residuals have reduced below e raised to minus 6. Our solution is very well conversed. Let's go and check results of our inlet profile. In velocity vectors, the proper parabolic profile is clearly visible. And now let us go for contours of velocity magnitude. And the correct gradient is visible right at the inlet. So in this way, we have created a parabolic profile at the inlet using our UDF. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.